Overbound here. This week I'm going to show you guys how to make a uh, metal platform that would work great for a platforming game. Uh, maybe a stage like that's like techno based or um, uh, a warship or maybe some sort of factory. Let's go ahead and get started. I've got some colors here that I've chosen for us to use already and I'm going to hit Control H and turn on my grid. As always the grid is 16 by 16 squares and um, the bigger grid lines right now are 64 by 64. Uh, I want to select an area that is 16 pixels wide by 11 pixels tall. So I'll do that with my marquee tool here. It's up here in the menu if you need it. When you need it. And I'll switch to my uh, paint bucket tool by pressing G on the keyboard. Assuming it's visible over here in the menu, G will get it, get you uh, the, the paint bucket tool selected. Okay, painted the, the middle blue there. I'm going to switch to my pencil and do um, some line shading up here. I'm just going to do a highlight. It's going to have one pixel at the very top and then skip a pixel and have another line. That will create a nice transition between the lighter blue and the darker blue. And then let's get a really dark blue, sort of a greenish blue, and have the bottom two pixels in that color. And that will be a nice shadow. Okay, that's great. That's the majority of our steel platform. I'm just going to pull it out here so I have a 64 by 64 area. Next, I'm going to draw um, some lines. Uh, I'm going to draw a, a, a light line down here and a dark line up here. And what this is, is a little, you can imagine it as an indentation in the platform. Uh, so, so it's uh, a groove that slants in towards the platform. Uh, and so the light hits the bottom uh, uh, groove because it's, it's aiming towards the sun. As is the top of the platform, of course. Um, with that done on one side, I'm just going to free transform it here. So I get the same number of pixels on the other side. Just going to free transform and mirror it by doing negative 100% as the width. There we go. That's a little bit wider than I wanted though, so I'm just going to erase a couple of these pixels with the darker blue. Or the middle blue, I should say. One more. And in fact, let's do this. Let's do a transition. Yeah, I like that. Sort of a transition between the lighter and the darker. And still looks like a groove. Okay, um, let's go ahead and pull this down. So we've got two of them there. Perfect. Uh, notice that this is now in a 32 by 32 area and a 64 by 64 if you're going all the way across this. So it'll tile nicely into bigger sizes that are also powers of two, which of course, as we've talked about in previous videos, is very important. Next, we're going to create some hashing or hatching that goes along the back here to sort of support these two platforms. We're going to select the black here because this is going to be behind everything, so it's going to be very dark. And we're just going to make a three by three square. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And we'll pull that up at a 45 degree angle. So we make duplicates of it. And I'm just holding Control and Alt down with my marquee tool selected. So I'm cloning and pulling out a copy of my selection. And I'll just keep pulling up, moving right one pixel and up one pixel every time. Just pull it up here. That's good. I'll select it and make a duplicate of the whole thing. Right click, free transform, set the width again, negative 100. And enter a couple times to confirm. I'm going to try to make an X here, a perfect X. If it's a square, then I've succeeded, and I have. But it's 15 pixels by 15 pixels, and I really want it 16 pixels by 16 pixels. So I'm going to pull it out by just moving it up one and a let right one, separating the center there, and then just filling it back in. And it come, the point it comes to now is two pixels rather than one pixel, but that's just the way you have to do it when you're working with powers of two. Yeah, it'd be nice if you could come to 
one pixel and work with even numbers, but it doesn't work that way. And I'm just going to make sure, okay, this is in a 16 by 16 area. Or, or I'm sorry, this is 16 by 16 in size, and it's cutting, the center of it is cut right at the 16 by 16 line. So the whole um, X or hatch fits uh, perfectly symmetrical in there. It's halfway between the top and the bottom of this 32 by uh, 16 area. So I'm going to pull it behind. Oops. Actually, I'll leave it in front because I want to see it. I'm going to create some duplicates and then merge them together. And then I'll move it behind and merge again. Perfect. Now I'm going to pull this out. Oops, my uh, color swatch is coming with me. So that I get a uh, 32 by 256 area. I'll merge that all back together. And I'm going to add a little bit of visual flair to it now. I'm just going to select the center area. Only on the right side because I'm actually going to duplicate or duplicate this side and mirror it again just like I've done a couple of times before to keep the speed up. So I'm just gonna create this or have this lighter color right there and I'm just gonna create a line that goes across and this area this whole area all the transparent pixels I'm gonna fill in so it's just gonna be a nice pattern that um, uh, is in the center of our uh, our platform and I'm going to turn off the grid here. I'm going to fancy this up a little by just adding a little bit of uh, more pattern here. Just create a nice little flare or something. Oops. Yeah, that looks cool. So I'll just mirror that. Control H, turn my grid back on, delete that side. If you guys find that I'm going very fast for you, um, there's a reason for that. I'm not trying to explain every single tool I use here. I've made a bunch of videos that do that already. This is to show you the workflow of what it's like to make pixel art. I'm actually, I think I actually want that that middle area uh, expanded out a little more. So I'm just going to pull it out here and snap it to the next uh, 16 pixels. There we go. Looks pretty good. Looks like a nice metal platform. You could do some sort of uh, ground underneath here. Just maybe a different color at that point. Maybe something like yellow. Uh, I don't know, and make blocks out of it or something. But we're going to continue to focus on um, just this guy here by adding another pattern to it. And the pattern we're going to add is sort of a circuit board. And that's why I have this yellow here, because I just want it to have a little bit of more flair. So I'm just going to draw some straight lines across this uh, this 32 by 32 area and I want to make sure the pattern loops well need to make sure I have enough lines to cover it well enough so that's a nice even. It's sort of a artistic part. It's just trying to get a look that looks filled enough to overlay on top of our uh, top of our shape. That's probably good enough for the video. I'll copy and paste that and overlay it on top of here. Fits in the 32 by 32 area, so I'm just gonna 
create duplicates to cover the whole platform. There we go. Merge all those together and we'll set the blend mode to vivid light and set the opacity to maybe 75% and uh, not big fan of where this is over top the, the hatching so I think I'll delete that part of our pattern there we go that looks nice and there's sort of the the finished effect uh, it's uh, just a little platform I'm still tweaking it as I'm talking but uh, just a little platform we can use oops that's why that happened I thought it got got uh, stronger but what happened was I accidentally made a duplicate um, but yeah there's the finished effect let's look at it with our uh, tiles from last week okay so I've pulled in our tiles from last week and I just expanded the sky um, now we can just take this uh, new tile that we made copy paste it whoops sometimes I hit that keyboard by mistake we'll bring it down here it's a little bit too big so we'll just delete the edges we'll merge these two layers and we'll crop it down perfect so there's a little uh, there it is. Uh, I know I said we could use this in a techno level, but it's it's very versatile, I guess. I like um, mixing technology elements with the foresty or grassy kind of elements, so that looks very cool to me. Um, maybe could use some more tweaking, which we'll do in later videos. We're going to use these two tiles to uh, expand into a full tile set in later videos, so um, you'll have that to look forward to. Thank you for watching the video. If you liked it, please subscribe and hit the thumbs up. Uh, share it if you like. It all helps me out a ton, and I'm extremely grateful for it. Um, thank you for your time today. Overbound out.